The Tamil Nadu Health Department has busted a fake medical university which was being run. Believe it or not, for the last seven years in Nagapatnam, the crackdown came after this health department officials saw a newspaper advertisement of the medical institute and visited the location. They were surprised to see the university being run from a, pre from a residential address. The investigation showed that the university had issued over 900 fake medical degrees. In the Irenda Vahayana Medicine Matundan, on the Taminatil on the Morepati, Padise Yapate, Angi Haram Betra, Marutu Padipulagum, Anal, Tri in the University Narrative Room, Seluraja or Hell. Let's go straight to my colleague Pramod Madhav joining us uh, live here on the broadcast. Pramod, you know, once again, it's becoming abundantly clear that the oversight in our country is so pathetic that a university carries on functioning uh, for as many years as this one, issuing uh, hundreds of fake licenses uh, for doctors, uh, no less, to actually practice in the state. And all of this is not even being spotted by the authorities. Well, surely this is raising a, a, a general number of questions, a really uh, a scary number of questions because like imagine this particular university, they're calling it as a university but it was run from a residential area, something like a house and you had like just uh, a large number of printers and things like that and with that this particular person, his name is uh, Selvaraj, he's been running it at Kuttalam uh, for, more, for seven years and apparently the authorities came to know of it not by any kind of tip or by routine checking but uh, someone from the department has uh, seen an advertisement advertisement on a newspaper where it was said like uh, uh, the, the, this person is uh, this particular university is calling for uh, uh, applications to be enrolled for 2019 where they are providing certificates and licenses for alternative medicine and that is how they come to know they want to go ahead and check and what happened uh, they took uh, a certain number of doctors also when they visited the place they were completely shocked that like what they saw over there and this uh, particular deputy director for uh, health department Mahindran made it very clear that like no practicals no exams were conducted and close to nine 900 license certificates were provided to people and these people have to be now traced because they are putting uh, the general public's life at jeopardy and this is a situation this particular university has been right now locked and sealed by the authorities who are also requesting the uh, people the students and everybody to check for credentials before enrolling into such universities right and once again highlights uh, the fact that we've got uh, this sorts of racket uh, which target uh, often vulnerable people who want uh, medical degrees uh, but what's shocking Pramod, as we get the details of this case is the fact that this is running from a residential address uh, here in Nagapatnam where uh, all of this uh, this entire university was being run a full-fledged university which obviously was fake Promote? Yes, Virat. Right, you know, this, the details here are staggering because all of this was taking place uh, from a residential address, wasn't it? It surely is, and uh, imagine the this uh, health director now claims that, that this particular university did not have any affiliation or any kind of registration with the state government or the health department, anything like that. But how did it run for seven years, and how is that like 900 certificates were provided, license certificates were provided, and now this is how did this escape the health department so far? Those questions have not been answered, and the shocking part here is that this is like uh, they did not find it out by a routine checkup or things like that. The health director himself, the deputy health director, very clearly says that just as they were going through a kind of a, a newspaper uh, advertisement that's where they found out that this particular university was providing licenses for certain medical practices which were which have been not provided by the state government it is not in the state government as a uh, uh, criteria right. and that's how they want to cross check it to find out like how they are providing degrees to certain uh, uh, kind of courses which is not allowed by the state and that's how this entire scam was uh, unearthed otherwise it would have gone for a long period and that's the scary part Right, stay with us. I've got uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Narayan joining us on the phone line here. He's an activist. Uh, you know, what do you make of this? Because this has gone on for nine years. Some 900 licenses have been issued, all fake, of course. Isn't this a stunning indictment of the manner in which oversight is run in our country, where a fake university uh, not only comes up, but is allowed to operate for as many years as it is, and nobody seems to know? Yeah, this this uh, this has been happening not only in Tamil Nadu but all over India. Uh, yeah, 
you can see you know that uh, ugc has been uh, from time to time releasing uh, details of fake university state wise recently also but they have they have uh, released not only here right here in delhi which is the capital of india and you have a, a state government also there but even in delhi you had about eight uh, fake universities so wow, wow, criminal action is not being taken on these fake universities that is the reason why they keep springing up lot of uh, students are uh, especially from the rural areas are uh, taken for a ride and now not only in, in in india you also find uh, there are fake universities in other countries especially places like russia i understand uh, year after year lot of uh, students are going to russia to uh, to do uh, to do their uh, graduation in medicine which is not recognized in india mm. so this is a major issue that, that is plaguing youth and uh, since there is a lack of criminal action against these people uh, they have become very emboldened that is a problem right so and there has to be yeah that's exactly the point mr narayan because ultimately you know you've got uh, in some cases uh, you know unsuspecting people from perhaps even smaller towns who may not be aware of the rules uh, very well who may not know how to verify the credentials of a university or a college for that matter who end up you know falling prey to these uh, scams again and again so that is that is that is the point i'm telling Uh, there is no criminal action people are not being arrested there has to be a stringent law and there are, the police has to uh, swoop down on these people it is invariably the ugc or uh, or in case if there is a fake uh, med- medical university or medical college then you have the uh, dental you know the regulator at delhi mci or uh, the, uh, they only uh, they, they, they don't take action they only inform that if there is a course which is not recognized by them they say this is not recognized but there is no legal action there is no strict criminal action prosecution of these people so that is what is lacking so police has to come there are the the la la the, 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 the police department has to work along with the regulators and seeing that these people are put behind the bars till, uh, till now that that is not happening that is why they keep ca- coming up and not only these fake universities you have lot of fake courses even in regular colleges there are a lot of colleges which are offering unrecognized courses hmm. uh, distant education courses are being uh, given by several universities uh, right. in especially in tamil nadu if you see recognized universities which are recognized by ugc they come out right. with uh, distant education courses which are run by agents Mm. Uh, UGC has been telling time and again uh, that the universities should not be uh, uh, starting unrecognized uh, distance education courses. You That's know, true. you had a case where engineering courses were uh, offered as a distance education. How right. can you I, get I, I, That's B- absolutely B- the point because uh, you know, and who's going to provide this oversight? Uh, in the oversight agencies are clearly not being able to do their jobs. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Narayanan and uh, Pramod for joining us.